Hola and bienvenidos everybody, my name is Nitpick and if you don't know who I am, I am a flutist and a music educator who enjoys all types of music. Let me preface this, I enjoy any kind of music, but I have never really dove into K-pop and I believe this is a Korean pop group that was sent to me on my Discord channel. Today we're checking out Dreamcatcher, the song Chase Me. So before we jump in, if you end up liking the channel, please like and subscribe. And if you wanna check out more content, there's some links down in the description below for my Discord where you can join, give me more suggestions for reactions and chit chat with me, as well as a link to my Patreon where you can check out extra content as well as some free content that sometimes just gets blocked on, blocked on YouTube. So. Let's jump right in. <laughs> Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna turn on subtitles because there's actual an actual translation for this. I am a sucker for pop music. I'm a sucker for girl groups. I'm a sucker for boy groups. I don't care. I immediately loved what we got here with the singer, the for the voice. The intro is interesting. It seems like we have a guy like trying to check out a haunting mu music video wise, artistry wise here, right? But we get. This beautiful piano intro. So we get that rhythm. If we were counting in 4-4 four, four time, which I'm assuming this is probably in, we get that rhythm or that sung line by our first singer, and then it changes. Made that electronic drum intro, but then this electronic hard rock backing, harmonization, harmonizing of the voices, and then. Like, can you hear that electric guitar in the background? Like that, given the squealies in the back. And then, of course, it's in double time. What? Listen. This, I did not expect this at all. Great vocals, great choreography. Now that is really cool what happened here. That rise in tonality. Da 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 da. That is such a cool rise in tonality there. Ooh. Lightening it up again. Slightly different piano part. Uh, uh, 
내가 나를 맞추려 해 그저 규칙 작은 심장 박동 위에 일곱 가지 작은 놀이를 선물해 매일 시각을 모두 꺼내들어 꿈속에 가득 던져 이쁜이를 몰아치듯 It's so funny that it's they're like tormenting this guy. Also, we got some rap. Hello. We get a different kind of piano fill in this section underneath our singers here. But what's also neat. <laughs> is the change in what I would consider a different style. That we get our symbols constant and then it's it feels just slightly different. It gives it a different character. And then hello, we get some rap. Yay, yay. And then we get back in that double time return of material, right? Man, these women are messing with this dude. Messing up. The rise in her voice at the end. It's so, that was very clean. Also, I love the filter over the voice that we got in that section. Obviously, we're getting into the last ending part of the song where we get our last chorus repeated probably twice, but like, it's just neat to have this different flavor. The breakdown moment where he's starting to realize he might be actually going nuts. Listen to her voice as she climbs. Here we go. Listen to her beautiful voice. Yeah! Lighter orchestration. Oh, they said they were gonna try and be creepy with us, didn't they? To be continued! What? <laughs> Wait! What is the story? That last part's really neat. That last part where the orchestration falls out, we have less mu like musical lines, we have just vocals, right? And then we had that, it's like as if you were sitting near the volume and just going, <laughs> turning it on and off with that skipping sound here. Here we 
here. Yeah, that's so cool. This is... I love the... This is w crazy. I guess he's seeing visions of them, their ghosts, and this is the room they've been in? Or, I don't know, whatever. You guys will probably explain it to me or tell me to watch part two. But, anyway. Great. This is fun. Like, musically... It is written very typical, right? Verse, chorus, verse, chorus. We have that interlude, and then again, we get our chorus again. But this feels like it's not as digitally produced, I guess. Like, there's actual real instrumentalists that recorded the guitar part, the bass part, as well as the drum parts. And, like, yeah, there is some electronic produced sounds, but, like, there's a lot of cool stuff going on with that those musical lines. So, bravo to the musicians. And then our performers, great performance presence, awesome choreo, and... The style, they're singing and then we have rapping. I haven't followed a lot of K-pop groups. I haven't dove into K-pop, even though there's been a huge rise in it recently. So I'm curious as to what I should check out next, but this was really cool. I'm glad this was sent to me. Thanks. <laughs> All right, sorry, I have a guest. This is my dog, Boston. He really wanted to be part of the video. So anyway, let's continue the conversation about music, shall we? What do you like about Dreamcatcher? What do you like about this song, Chase Me? And what do you think I missed? What else should I check out as well? I'm just curious, because again, as someone who hasn't really dove into the K-pop world, I am curious. I just, it's like one of those things like you don't know where to start and usually you always have someone introduce you to them. So I am open to suggestions. Anyway, if you enjoyed this channel, please like and subscribe. And if you want to send me suggestions, you can also leave it down in the comments, but I will more than likely see it on my Discord in the description below. You will also see a link to my Patreon where you can check out extra content as well as free content. So anyway, I hope you're having a wonderful day and I will see you in the next video. <laughs> Peace out. <laughs>